Hi guys, so um, I was at Walmart and I found these. These are, um, they're new to me, uh, but they're Mega Construct, the, uh, the Roton and the um, uh, Point Dread. Uh, and basically, uh, what I really want was uh, He-Man on a um, Battle Cat and then we got Panther uh, with uh, Skeletor. Yeah, the reason why I've been going to Walmart so much is I'm actually looking for Scarlet. I'm missing Scarlet in my uh, G.I. Joe retro line. So, um, basically, um, having no luck on finding Scarlet, but I did find Destro, um, Roadblock, and um, Storm Shout, and all those other guys. Uh, so, good luck on your hunt if you're looking for them as well. But yeah, so I'm very excited about this, um, the Point Dread, because... Uh, you can actually add this uh, to your uh, Castle Grayskull playset, and uh, I do have a, a Castle Grayskull, um, but it's I'm gonna explain <laughs> it a bit when you you see my version of it. Anyway, so it's gonna go on top of it. That looks really cool. So it's a basically a, an added feature. I'm gonna put it together, and then um, oh, um, so there uh, as usual. Mega Construct or Mega Construct this is very expensive. So this is 30 bucks for Roton and then um for Point Dread it's uh 50 bucks. So this is very expensive. Um but you do get the sorcerers and Panther or Panthor. And um yeah, well I'm going to put it together. Okay guys, so I put together um the whole thing. Uh so the first thing we're going to look at is the uh the Rotan and uh, Battle Cat. Let's start off with Battle Cat. Um uh, it is uh, a removable um, armor, uh, so let's take a look at his head. Um, and um, it's pretty articulated. Uh, obviously, I have him. Uh, the best part is that his paw actually moves up and down, unlike the uh, the origins. <laughs> we it came with battle uh, He-Man battle armor, um, but. Uh, the battle armor doesn't do anything. It's it was a chore to get the uh, armor on him, so uh, know that it's going to be pretty tough to get that on him. And then um, he uh, so when he rides Battle Cat, there's actually uh, nothing on there, so he will flop off and on. Uh, fortunately, it does have a handle, so he you're going to have to have him hold uh, onto the handle for him to not fall off the uh, Battle Cat. Okay. Uh, other than that, um, it's the same figures. They're they're reusing obviously the same figure. This might be new. This arm band right here. Um, let me see. Sorry about that. This arm band here. Let me see closer. Uh, come on, focus. Okay, see this arm band here. That's new. Uh, this other one is is not new. It's uh, reusable. Anyway, I think it's great. Um, um, I think, uh, yeah, like I said, the for, for the first time we get um, a Battle Cat uh, in um, Mega Construct. Uh, and uh, unfortunately they didn't color his, his eyes either, or the, the armor's eyes. I would have liked to have that yellow. Okay, so the Rotan. Uh, what's cool about Rotan is it does spin. Uh, unfortunately, like uh, one, uh, I was there's supposed to be 18 little um, spikes, uh, and I am missing one spike. Not a big deal, but um, it this is a common thing with Mega Construct set where they'll they'll randomly misplace a part. Uh, in fact, actually, I have a funny story to tell you about the um, um, the Castle Kate Grayskull uh, set that I got. Uh, but I'll, I'll save that until we uh, bring out Castle Grayskull. Anyway, so yeah, so that's really cool. And then um, Merman is new uh, in this uh, set. Uh, we've never gotten a Merman before, uh, so it's really cool. Um, he comes with this Quirrell Sword, um, his Trident, and uh, if they're coming out with um, Merman, uh, expect Stinkor to follow suit pretty soon, because Stinkor is just a repaint of this guy. Uh, so the cool thing is uh, this does fire if you push on this, so it does fire this missile here. Uh, you're going to lose it, so I, I suggest not doing it. Uh, here, let's, let's, there, there you go. But you can push it and then it'll pop out uh, 
Um, but yeah, I suggest um, not doing it because you're gonna lose uh, you're gonna <laughs> lose these uh, missiles. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, Panthor. Um, this is from the um, um, Mount uh, Point uh, Dread uh, set, and uh, it comes with um, Skeletor with battle armor. Um, the funny thing about Panthor is that it came with a helmet that's very similar to um, Battle Cat, and um, I never thought uh, Panthor Thor had a helmet, so I, I took it off. But as you can see, it's just a, a repaint of um, Battle Cat's uh, armor head armor dress is exactly the same except they repainted it uh, you know this color um, so I took it off because Panthor has never had one so I, I felt really uncomfortable having uh, this on him uh, just like Battle Cat it is the same figure but it's just repainted um, uh, repurposed uh, I kinda wish this was flocked <laughs> just so um, if they didn't give us a helmet, they, they could have flocked this, but they gave us that weird Battle Cat helmet, so I'm not quite sure uh, what I'm going to do with this. I'm definitely not going to use it on Panther Roll. It just doesn't feel right. Okay, so finally, uh, we have um, uh, we have Point Dread with uh, the Talon Fighter. In fact, actually, this playset should have been called the Talon Fighter with Point Dread instead of Panthor uh, because um, I just felt like Panthor um, it didn't deserve his own giant box set because really the uh, main point was to, to get this vehicle the Talon Fighter and uh, the uh, an extra addition Point Dread to add to your Castle Grayskull um, so, uh, okay, before we, we do, do talk about that, it does come with a nice uh, extra battle um, armor set, uh, armor thing. So, it's cool because uh, if you have the Castle Grayskull, it came with something like this, but uh, the, the weapons are all oranges or whatever, orange. Uh, this is uh, the same, uh, different weapons, but with uh, different color as well. Um, and uh, so you get a weapons rack basically and uh, yeah so this uh, point dread is actually pretty awesome it came with the little nice steps that you can walk up here presumably climb onto the um, talon fighter to take off there's a little window in here you can have somebody man in, in here and then somebody could um, work this computer contraption um, which can spin around which is really cool um, there, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that, um, there was an addendum, so that, um, it comes, so right between bags 9 and 10, you're going to get this bag, and, uh, they're basically replacement parts for, um, for these little guy, because, uh, the way they molded this, um, it's, um, it doesn't have, uh, the right, uh, opening so for your missiles so they basically added uh, an extra few of these uh, so that your missile will work out correctly all right let's take off the talon fighter now here is the thing with the talon fighter is that his leg tends to come off very easily um i don't I don't know. I might want to super glue this. And then on the bottom, I had to put these extra Lego parts in it to um, to kind of give it a little more stability uh, so that he can like uh, perch on it. Uh, otherwise, he just falls off really easily or he doesn't uh, uh, land or hold his stance very good. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm, I was kind of disappointed in that design because uh, you can't really land on here and then have it stand really, uh, you know, tight because then it just falls off. 
So I had to add my own uh, Legos. Uh, I couldn't match the color, but I just had uh, these lying around. So I used those instead. Uh, so it just has a better base for, for it to, uh, to, you know, stand. Uh, like, like this, actually, where he's stable. Otherwise, he just tends to flop and fall over. Um, so uh, as you can see on the side here, this weapon here, it does fire. So I'm going to catch it. Um, but you push this button here, and it fires this thing so I'm gonna okay there we go you will lose this so please be <laughs> really careful about uh, firing this uh, missile okay um, so yeah this took uh, the cockpit um, so this does oh my gosh these Legos uh, so one thing I <laughs> so this interesting this is like a wind wind uh, shield wiper here but there's no um, windshield so I kind of wish this they had a plastic uh, um, instead of just kind of um, oh my gosh this is this is falling apart <laughs> I kind of wish that it had a plastic um, see-through plastic or something you can fit two uh, people in the cockpit. Uh, as you can see, I have He-Man and Zordak who came with the set. Oh, incidentally, um, so, so you also get um, a white sorceress in this uh, set. Um, and then her, um, her ego uh, or her transformed ego. Um, but anyway, so going back to the the figure, you can do you can fit two um, figures in here, so that's really cool. Um, uh, I, you know, I mean, on the pictures you only see one person, but but it's spacious enough to have uh, two person. One has to the first guy has to kind of lean down a little because otherwise it's oh my gosh, this is terrible. So yeah, so he has to like kind of lay down just a little, and then. Um, but otherwise, uh, pretty cool. Um, I do love it. Um, so, like I said, we're going to put this onto Castle Grayskull. Uh, so, let me get him perched back on. Uh, so, you see how he snapped in and he, he's not going to fall off right here. Uh, before, um, the item that they had down there, uh, it, it wouldn't hold at all. And um, so, yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna take out Castle Grayskull. Okay guys, so here is Point Dread on Castle Grayskull. Now, if you notice this Castle Grayskull looks a little different, that's because I bought this Castle Grayskull really cheap. I bought it for like 120 bucks and it was missing this top piece here, but it included an extra bag of an, um, item number one, so this bottom part. So I just reused the bottom part to build this top part um, kind of like a DIY version of Castle Grayskull. Um, so that kind of sucked, but you know, I didn't pay that much. And to be honest, I think it looks fine. I, I really don't really care that much for it. Um, um, so yeah, this is uh, uh, Point Dread. Now, if you notice, uh, like the way they design this, you can easily take out, pop back in, and then um, it just hangs in there. And then um, the Talon Fighter is hanging out on the top. You can see the Wind Rider back there because I, I kind of perched it on there. I didn't really know where it can go. But um, basically, so you have two vehicles for, um, you know, the He-Man team. But uh, only the, uh, pretty much only the, the Rotan for um, the bad guy. Uh, so... Um, so yeah, the, um, um, yeah, I think it, it looks great. It looks like it's part of Castle Grayskull now. It looks like an extension. Um, let's open this up. Okay, so looking inside Castle Grayskull, uh, so we have this extra weapon rack right here. Um, so here is the, uh, the one that came with the, um, Castle Grayskull. Um, it's kind of stuck in there. You can't get it out. It's just, I, I just, the weapons are too high, so... I might try to figure out where I'm going to put this. Uh, That's another weapons rack. Uh, anyway, I got to figure out where I can put this. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so you can see uh, the jail cell Mossman is hanging out there. Um, Faker, Tila, uh, Prince Adam. He's like man in the computer in here. Um, 
So yeah, this uh, elevator actually goes up. I don't know if you guys have... Uh... Oh, there's a ladder here, so... Um, anyway, so uh, you can see the steps going up, and then it's kind of like now it's... Uh, this area is now a... Uh, kind of like a, just a hangout area. I might stick somebody in there. And then uh, we have Point Dread up here with the computer. And... Um... So yeah, um, yeah, Castle Grayskull is actually a really cool set. Uh, retail, I think, is like two hundred and fifty bucks. So I would never pay that much. Uh, I mean, I only paid one hundred and twenty, but then I was missing parts. So <laughs> you uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. Um, yeah, the uh, this computer room is actually cool. Be behind it is actually an, an open area here. So you got another man of arm hanging out there. Um, yeah, this this is a really fun. Um, kind of um, just a really fun playset. Uh, it did take forever to build this too, so um, Castle Grayskull was was not easy to build. Um, so let's close it up here, and then uh, we'll take a look at the exterior again. So yeah, that's a uh, uh, Talon fighter on Point Dread with the Wind Rider Raider or Wind Rider back there. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty cool, um, pretty happy with this, I think, uh, I think $50 was asking a little too much, uh, but you do get an extension of Castle Grayskull, and you do get the Talon Fighter, I think they could have cut the price in half by just including just the Talon Fighter by itself, and not with, um, Panthor, uh, Panthor and Battle Cat, I'm assuming we'll get a single release just to keep just because um, right now the, you can only get it in these expensive play sets and uh, I don't think most people want to do that you want to pay like fifty dollars uh, to get this um, but um, yeah so I can imagine them repackaging Battle Cat and um, uh, Panthor in its own single set so here's uh, Battle Cat uh, here is the uh, 2000 and X so he's much bigger <laughs> and I do have origins hang on a second all right so here's um, you know Panthor and Battle Cat uh, and uh, of course we got origins He-Man on origins uh, Battle Cat here so origin Battle Cat obviously much much bigger um, than uh, Mega Construct <laughs> But, you know, they look pretty good. I mean, look, they painted his eyes yellow on this here. But uh, not so much on on the Mega Construct. Pretty uh, pretty happy with this. Uh, <laughs> I like Mega Construct, and I think the Mega Construct line is really cool. Uh, I will be picking up more if I can find them. Uh, unfortunately, I think uh, as of uh, right now, you can only find them... It seems like I can only find them at Walmart, but I know that Target carries them online, but I've never seen them in store, and I've never seen it in store in, in other places, uh, in other stores or anything like that. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, the He-Man line. Um, I've seen, like, Halo at Target, but never He-Man. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.